hey guys, I uh, joined in Papa Gets Q&A, and uh, this is just kind of like the result of it. I wanted to talk about a couple of top topics. I finally got to talk about what I wanted to talk about a little bit. Uh, there's obviously still more, but I just wanted to jump in and say hi. I gotta go though, Hanzo. I'm not leaving the stream. I just, next. he's gonna call me up next. Yeah. Uh, are the gym rats done talking, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time you don't for like nerd time, bro. Ha, dude, I have not lifted a fucking weight in my entire life, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> the only thing I've lifted up is a mouse and a keyboard, dude. We warriors hey, hey, are here. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's something to think about. It's, uh, oh, it's, yeah, 100%. It really, it is, it's good for my, uh, when I get stressed or I get angry, it's been a good stress release for me. I'm actually going to hop in on it with uh, when I get my new house settled in. I'm actually, me and my girlfriend already have a membership. I just uh, haven't got there yet because we've cool. just been sleeping really bad. But I got two questions for you, and it's not two questions. They're... You can pick one, okay. so you get to pick one. We only get one today, not okay. twenty thousand, like last time. Uh, sure, whatever. We either get to talk about God or Shane Dawson. <laughs> hey, you can talk about whichever one you want. You can do both if you want. I don't care. Um. Uh, well, when it comes to God, I'll just say my viewpoint, which I think maybe you might be coming from. Uh, you say a lot of the time you bring up God, and you're like, uh, you'll space, say, maybe. you're like the iconic like, oh, God hates gays, blah blah. blah. But absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 obviously the Christian stuff, yeah, but what I say is what I think you're coming from, and you're like, you're always saying, look, I'm trying to get more into God and stuff lately. So I always get confused. I'm like, so are you going for God or like not? But what I believe in is like the definition of God by itself. I just believe in, uh, like you kind of say, a, a higher power, but that's just it. He's God, yeah, so like, he's uh, all knowing. It's like agnosticism, yeah. Yeah, sure. but like when you say it, it kind of makes me upset because you're just like, well, you know, God. I'm like, well, yeah, and a lot of people, like that, uh, I think, I don't know her name, she was just in here and she said she had a kid, she sounded like, she had actually good questions for you, uh, Miss, uh, something, she came in here and yeah, she said she was scarred, yeah, scarred from her Catholic, I think most people, when they think of God, they immediately think Catholicism or, like, uh, Christianity, and I think if we just go down to the bare bone definition, I think a lot of people would believe in God, just himself, like, nothing more, nothing less, just God, because it's just, like, all-knowing, uh, being who like made everything he's not judgmental because he knows everything like he knows why people are gay because they're born that way he knows why we don't believe him because he knows like it's kind of impossible for us to understand him like he's all knowing he's not gonna fucking send you to hell for you know like not knowing because he knows that you don't know it makes sense but that's why i was like i don't know i wanted to talk about that a second see how you felt on that um i guess i think that the problem is is that organized religion will say that you're gonna go to hell if you kiss a man's wiener so no yeah i i i agree with that it's kind of ridiculous how you can't kiss a man's wiener without going to hell i mean come that's on what now. i'm saying man well i mean they put the prostate in uh, the man's the butthole dude that's what i've yeah. been saying for dude it's one, it's of, a, one of god's greatest sins the world, is the greatest you know I mean? pleasure yeah, i'd get exactly. fucked i'm just kidding um what i also wanted to say was shane dawson though uh i've had a viewer hop in from your your chat which i stole i yoinked him um Okay. He said, oh, how do you feel about uh, Shane Dawson? And I said, eh, the guy's kind of a creep, uh, whatever. I love, I love Shane Dawson. I it, love oh, I bet. Wait till you hear this. And so we were talking about it, and I was like, D does he not remember him coming and fucking his cat? I don't think he ever did. He made a joke about how he ejaculated onto his cat before. That's what you're talking well, about, Well, right? it's not like, it was more of a joke. Like, I thought it was like, okay, it'd be a joke if he was like, oh, I was jerking off and it shot onto the cat. He's like, he said he laid the cat down and acted like he was fucking it and came on it. Hey, listen. <laughs> uh, maybe he did. Most likely some of that sensationalized. <laughs> Uh, for a joke, you know, he has a very raunchy sense of humor. Yeah. You know, I made a, I made a joke before about how I would fuck a dog. Like, I mean, like, I don't know, dude. Like, I, I'm just a very edgy guy, and I appreciate edgy humor. No, I, I get that, too. I, I think so. I said the same thing, too. I threatened to fuck someone's dog on Overwatch one time because they wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, Jesus um, Christ. It's just like, that's the, this the context of the, okay, for example, me and you, obviously you don't know me that well yet, but you are known for quote unquote edgy content. In my opinion, it's the context and like the, like you said, the whole old enough, old enough, uh, we're not going to get into that. Old enough to breed, bullshit, right, whatever. Right, right. I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, that sure. just for me, when I saw it, I was like, brain dead, it was a joke. Can, <laughs> are we, are we human beings here? Can like, we understand that that's a joke? Cause he said like the whole thing. So. What I'm saying is, is like with his whole joke in mind, that's a little sus. That's a little sus. You know what I mean? And then also, yeah, I mean, he, go he ahead. used to make a lot of edgy content. Yeah, he was he used to make a lot of edgy content, so I believe it was a joke. And as I think that on the internet, there's a fundamental problem where people assume um, 
they'll assign the worst intentionality to people when it can benefit them and then they'll be they'll like assign the most the gracious intentionality when it benefits them as well uh that's one of those things and so like i made that joke on tiktok which was to call out somebody who was allegedly like a 13 or 14 year old at home yeah years. um they remove the content because it's people that don't like me right so like that's one of the biggest things and that's really what it comes down to a lot of people don't like shane dawson and they just i, I just it's like yeah he did bad things in the past i think it's ironic that the people who complain about shane dawson the most tend to be more progressive leaning individuals who are always talking about how we should provide pathways for people to be able to uh get reformed when it comes to them going to prison where we're having conversations about murderers getting yeah my they, dude my dad's in federal prison he hasn't learned yet but like he has now yeah. finally but it, it it i know exactly what you're talking about when you talk about the reform oh, yeah. system it doesn't even work yeah, well, my point is, is that we're having the conversation about reform for people who commit murder, but we don't have the conversation about reform for somebody who makes edgy jokes. Like, exactly. It's silly, it's disproportionate. It's, it's, I'm it's on your side. I, I, the only thing, I'm still going to, like, stand my ground a little bit. I just think that Shane Dawson isn't one of them. I agree with you heavily because, see, also, let's think about this. Who was he best friends with back in the day at the start? Onision oh, yeah. and them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, that's like, like a whole... He I surrounded don't, himself around those that... people, I feel like. Yeah, I get that. I don't I don't think that you're instantly a bad person because you associated with a bad person if you didn't know that they were a bad person, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, but I mean, you know, with Onision, I, I feel like you could get some hints off of it with hanging out with him, you know what I mean? Because he had like every maybe. one of his videos were talking about how like rate your body or like how he made like videos of his girlfriend having like probably, I think they're like stressed induced seizures and he was just recording her. I'm not like gonna do an, an Onision thing because we've already, we've all heard about it, but I just think Onision, like back with the con or the community thing I talked to you about the first time I came in, I think he mm -hmm. kind of fucked himself on the community he surrounded himself around. And he actually like, there's no way, Ethan Klein is a perfect example. He fucked himself on the community he's surrounded by and now he's becoming that community. So, so it, to me, Shane Dawson, yes, he would be redeemable if I know for a fact he can come back and not act like his community. You know what I mean? Well, he already has come back and he's already changed, right? He's doing like a podcast like a year or two now. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, I I, we'll I just have to see I how that goes. He showed a lot of change, from my understanding, before he got called out for it, which suggests yeah. that it's more credible now. Like, listen, man, if, if people had recordings of my Ventrilo conversations back in the day... <laughs> Dude, you know, oh my I'd god, my Modern Warfare 2 conversations. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be cancelled, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, it, I just, I feel like, you know... Shane's just a guy. Okay, now, good question, like, though. Would he do this for you? I don't care. Like, I, I, you um, should, though. Cause, like, I don't no, but I don't think I should. No, listen, because what you're asking me right now is... Okay, so you're saying, do you think that Shane Dawson would defend me um, if, if it came to me in some capacity, right? Like, let's say he found out about my TikTok era. Would he defend me? Is that what you're asking me? Well, like, I don't mean, like, a just specifically pop a gut, but let's say you guys went through the same exam, like, same thing. Do you think he, like, would you stand for him and he would stand for you? Yeah, I mean. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't care if he would stand for me because it's not about, like, what he would do for me. Yeah, um, but I'm not saying, like, okay, let's take you out of it. What if he, would he do it for Carson? Like, would he do it for, like, it, let's say... Well, probably not, because he didn't do it for Carson. No, I know, yeah, so. definitely. But what, I mean, what I'm meaning is, like, you influenced him. You're like, damn, he actually, like, reached down and helped me, like, when I was down. I w I'm going to do that for someone. You think he would do that? Like, he would be influenced? Because that's the only time I would do something like that when I would know that they would go out and do that for others. Like, what's the point of teaching a homeless man how to make a fire if he's not going to listen to you because he's just like, oh, thanks for saving me, and that's it. He just sits there and looks at the fire. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to well, learn. I, I think if I could save a homeless man, I wouldn't respect something in return because that's what we're getting into. I'm not, I'm not trying me, to say, like, I, in return, I'm saying, do you think he would help others, like, the same way that he needs it? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. I don't think so. I don't... I don't I maybe i don't think that 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 doesn't change my perspective yeah and that's valid that's fine because it doesn't need to change your perspective i just wondering like uh, gonna, where you I'm think you come from right? yeah because you're like i agree with that too you're not i'm not going to go out here and help these people uh like i wanted to do a homeless thing i'm not going out here helping them because i'm expecting them to grow rich and give me money back i just want to help them because i knew how it feels you know what i mean and hopefully down the line sure. Uh, when they get in a good spot, if they do, high, probably, chance it's probably not, because, I mean, let's be realistic, but it, let's say that one dude, Jonathan, down the road, who smokes crack, doesn't smoke crack anymore because of me. Now he's like, oh, oh. shit, there's another Steven down the road who smokes crack because Jarhead came by and gave me that money and helped me out. I'm going to do that for Steven now or whatever, you know? Oh, maybe. That's I where mean, I'm coming from, at talking. least. Cause I that's like, like paying pay, pay in full. I yeah, because like, that's what you did for me. Thing. So I'm like, 
sitting here like, oh, I want to do that for men. Like, I kind of want to be an Andrew Tate guy, but not like Andrew Tate. I want to be masculine. I want to be like, like you're saying, like men need a better role model. And I kind of want to be close to that where I'm like, oh, what? We, we can't respect women and be a man. Like, come on. Like, is this like, come on. Yeah, sure. I, uh, I, I mean, I don't know if he would, but also that he doesn't really, I don't think that Shane trying to advocate for somebody in like a similar scenario to him is going to help that person because he's already got so much negative energy attached to him. That people are gonna be like, oh, Shane supports this guy. That he must be a bad person. That's I, how fucking toxic the thing is. So yeah, I, I feel like that's just the internet, though. But let's be, uh, let's think like people. Like, let's say we go. He goes through an arc, and like people like me and you who are reasonable actually uh, sit there and goes, okay, he's through it. And then he comes up and he goes, oh, this smaller YouTuber did the same thing I did, but he's actually not that bad of a guy. Me and you would look at it and be like, oh, goaded. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. That's all I'm Don't saying, I guess. Happen. But uh, well, yeah, you know, I think well, they, that was my uh, last one. Then. I just didn't want to interrupt you. Shame Dawson is gonna invite me to his house and hang out with him. So yeah. I, I mean, I, you know what? You kind of changed my mind a little bit on it. Uh, I yeah, would just yeah, hope yeah. that uh, he would also, you know, like you, like you said, pay it forward in full. He would also yeah, continue the thing. That's what I always hope for. I don't ever want anybody to get, like, shit back. Uh, don't ever think that you're gonna get anything back in return, ever. Always do yeah, it out no, of the kindness like of your a, heart. That's like a, it's like a Darman video. Now. Exactly, like, oh, dude. The I, definition I, of a Darman video. And I did this nice thing and I got a nice thing in return. I, I appreciate you talking to these these uh, YouTubers coming up because we feel like so insecure. Like, you did inspire me. Like, this the guy that just came up earlier said, "Oh, I only got two likes, bro. I be getting four, and I'm hype as fuck every day I come home from work. I'm not even like depressed anymore. Like, I was scared about leaving my job because like my jobs kind of treat me like shit, dude. I got like all the confidence I need now, and it's just like I get one guy on my stream now, and we talk every day. We that's got like cool, a gimmick. Man. Yeah, it's it. That's all I've ever wanted, you know. Like it." And I, I'm gonna be 100. If you don't want that, if you're not comfortable with that, don't do YouTube. That's 100. Like, if you can't sit there with a one viewer Andy chat and be happy and come home from work and be like, let's go, I'm gonna talk to my boy Hanzo again. And it's just Hanzo every day, don't stream because it is, you're gonna be doing that for a long time. And like you said, it's good to uh, have that up and coming arc, you know? Yeah, take it, take advantage of like your uh, your low period because yep. you, you, you'll it's not that bad. It's a fun time. It it's so much fun. Stressful. It's it's like Lord of the Rings. It's the adventure things. there. It's the whole adventure there, man. Exactly. exactly. And uh, there you go. fucking there you go. just take care, man. I hope everything's doing good. Uh, you should do yeah, more live you. videos where you talk about uh, yourself, like self improvement, because I think that helps out a lot of people. Ew. I know, I know, but it's just not like you just gotta go like speed run it. Just be like, hey, I lifted. I did this. I did this. You're good. All right. You're I, I, I feel thinking about it, but then like the issue with that is that I don't want to make my my life too like center state. It, it's weird when you make. Oh, I get like, that. I was just talking to my chat about that. I was just talking to my chat about that. I was scared because uh, like I had to unlist some of my vods because I still talk about where I live, like not where I live, but you know like wherever. Yeah. And it's like low sure. pop, but yeah, uh, I'll let you go. These got people in here. I feel bad, but hey, thanks so much yeah. again, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Have a good one. Take care. You too. Peace.